<laughs> Guys! Why don't we all calm down first? I'm sure Isabella has her reasons too. No need to be hard on her. And hey, ain't this supposed to be a happy get-together? We haven't seen each other for months. I'd really love to know what y'all have been up to. I only ever get to talk to Bella over chat. Please. If we keep arguing here, we're going to miss the first few minutes. All right, that's the Isabella I know. Oh, good. I thought for sure you were going to cry. <clears throat> What was that for? Stop calling me a crybaby! I'm not one! Aw, oh, don't cry. Stop it! Okay, scaredy cat then. That too! If you repeat that, I swear I'll- <sighs> Let's just go. So, uh, you guys go catch up with her. I'll go get us the food, I promise. But you'll miss it! Didn't you say watching a movie without food ain't fun? And <laughs> it ain't like I haven't seen it. I made it, remember? I'll be in there soon. And then? Are you sure it wasn't one of the cleaning crews? Absolutely sure. And then I ran. You heard what happened after. I still think it's something else. It was standing right in front of me, Ash. I heard what you said, but it's a small room. There are a lot of things someone else could have done there without your knowledge. If I could see it up close, maybe I can... I am not going back there. Ain't that a problem if you're hosting an open house? Rose does the first floor tour. I ain't sure ghosts can be restricted to one room, Bella. There are no ghosts, Zack. Stop putting useless ideas in her head. Yeah, but I was thinking. Maybe all the house needs is a blessing. Wasn't it left uninhabited for years? I didn't peg you as the religious type, Zack. Nothing like that, Ash. Who knows, though? It might bring something positive to the place. That's not a bad idea. I just don't know where I could find someone. You're not seriously considering a suggestion, are you? Do you have a better idea? I know where. I could contact him for you if you want. You'd do that? Or we can find you a psychologist and... Ash, that is not a very appropriate thing to say right now. No, wait, that's not what I meant. Ethnographer. I meant ethnographer. This guy's a psychologist too, of course, if you... Ashton, if you don't stop... Rebecca knows the guy I'm talking about, too. She can vouch for him. Huh? What? Oh, are you talking about Professor Andrew? He used to work with my parents at the university. Can you guys keep it down? 
Sorry, the scaredy cat here mentioned curses. Not that I'm saying this is one, but talking to him is a better solution for me than getting a random priest to bless an old house. He'll even help you figure things out, teach you a couple things, and probably put your fears to rest since this looks to be bothering you a lot. So, what do you think? It's your call. We'll go with whatever you want. I don't know. I'll think about it. But maybe we could go with Zack's idea? I'm not so sure about that. Well, it wouldn't hurt to try, right? If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. At least we did something than just stand around. I'll let you know when he's available, Bella. Thanks, Zack. I knew I could count on you. Guys, I said keep it down! You keep insisting that we still watch it, yet you're not even paying attention yourselves! It ain't a big deal, Rebecca. I'm the one who broached the subject in the first place. It's still your film, Zachary. A good film, mind you. You worked hard on this. The least we could do is watch it with you. And that's what you're all doing. I really appreciate all of you making time for this. Sorry, Becca. We'll stop now. Thanks for today, everyone! No problem, Zack. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Isabella? Earth to Isabella? Weren't you listening? Are you coming with me? Oh, I... yeah. Just sorry. I spaced out. You always do that. So you got some other time? Y yeah see ya.